YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another specialty tool and today is the compression tester. And as you can tell here this is not going to be a very expensive compression tester and for DIYers this is going to be work, uh, work really well. For professionals I almost guarantee you you're going to have something more expensive than this. So if you're looking at getting into the professional field I do suggest getting a compression tester that is uh, well known and known to be accurate. Uh, with a lot of these cheaper ones, the gauges are what you need to worry about because sometimes the gauges are off and uh, that can cause confusion. But what I did after I got this, I tested this against my buddy's uh, gauge that is well known and it was accurate. So I was happy with this purchase. I think this ran me like $25 instead of a hundred and something dollars for the more expensive ones. So. I'll have this link down in the description so if you are interested in doing your compression test yourself or maybe you've never done it and you want or, want or need to do it, uh, this is a good way to go and save some money at the same time. So this will be linked down in the description as well as many other tools that I suggest. I've probably used this a max 10 times. Uh, a couple times on my old 300ZX that I used to own, uh, my old 93 Blazer Sport, and both of those cars had, well, one had over 200,000 miles and the 300ZX had high 180,000. Um, so that's why I was using these, just to make sure that I was getting full power out of the engine. But basically a compression tester is used to determine whether your cylinders are sealed. If you feel like your engine isn't producing the power that it should, yes, a lot of people will look into, you know, spark or timing or, you know, fuel and stuff like that. But a good way just to make sure that your engine is healthy is to do a compression test. So if you're a DIYer and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a good route to go. Um, and there are other brands I will link from Amazon that are known to be better than this kit. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that. But... So a compression tester, you're basically going to remove your spark plugs and you're going to use this to test the pressure within uh, that cylinder. And I will be doing a video in the near future once I get the Camaro going uh, and we will do a compression test. Also there is something called a dry compression test and a wet compression test. You're going to do the dry one first which basically you're taking one of these adapters that matches your spark plug thread and you're going to take your compression line, you screw the fitting onto here, and then you run this into your spark plug hole. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and connect your gauge. And then what you're going to do, it's best to disconnect your ignition system so you're not having spark, you know, go nowhere, your spark plug wires. Uh, so just it's easy to disable that depending on the vehicle and then as far as fuel you want to make sure that you disable your fuel injector whether you have to disconnect the fuel injector itself or most vehicle nowadays if you just hold down on the gas pedal it uh, goes into a clear for the uh, fuel injectors and disables them so you're not just squirting a whole bunch of fuel into the cylinder and not starting the car because you don't want to flood your engine. So once you've done that, you simply screw that into the spark plug hole, you set the gauge down, you go inside the car, and you crank it over four times. You'll hear rrr, 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 four times. And then whatever that gauge is at, you're going to want to write down, you know, cylinder number one is at this, uh, let's say 140. And then you'll go and you'll do every cylinder. And then you can go back through do a wet test which you're basically taking a little bit of oil and you're dropping it down in the cylinder and you're doing the exact same thing. So if the numbers go up that means most likely that it's just your uh, rings on your piston that are worn out because that oil is filling in that gap creating more pressure inside the cylinder bringing it back up. And then if you put the oil in and it goes down or stays the same I should say uh, it's not your rings, it's most likely a valve, whether you have an intake or an exhaust uh, valve stuck open, you know, that's not sealing correctly, maybe it's cracked, something along those lines. 
and then if you have and then if you have two cylinders right next to each other that are showing low compression it could be a crack in the head gasket to where compression is leaking from one cylinder to the other and these are all things that can uh, affect power to your engine so there's also another tool called a leak down tester which really gets more in depth into the compression test of the engine to tell you exactly what's going on but a basic compression tester like this can still tell you uh, if there's something not sealing inside your combustion chamber and that's great because this is like twenty five dollars and uh, it can save you a lot of money from going to a mechanic so just keep that in mind but please stay tuned for the future video of me compression testing my engine and I really hope you guys enjoy once you've cranked the engine over there is a release button here and I just like I stated before with these cheaper sets you just have to be careful that the the gauge itself is accurate um, now a lot of people will look up their make and model of their vehicle to see what their compression should be their compression numbers should be um, you don't necessarily have to do that yes that's a good idea but basically if all your numbers across all four cylinders are within 10 percent of each other you're good and it's roughly I think it's like if it's more than a 30 percent difference across cylinders that's when you uh, need to start looking into the issues that it could be so basically if you got 140 145 150 135 you know they're all close it's not like you got one at 130 one at 165 you know you don't want to have a big difference in the numbers but that's basically it a very simple compression tester this one specifically comes with four different adapters uh, for spark plugs and then these uh, kind of rubber tipped adapters as well for different uh, options depending on what you're compression testing so please let me know your guys thoughts if you've ever used a cheaper one like this um, I've had really good luck with mine once again this is used for DIY use only so it's been maybe used 10 times and it's done really well uh, but if you're in the professional field obviously I would recommend spending a little bit more money which I will also link down in the description something I know as a well-known compression tester. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber.